it going today? Um, as you can see, I have a model here. Her name is Ashley, better known as Phoenix Beauty. And what I'm going to do today is do a really cool background effect using um, some filters and layer masks. So let's get started. So remember, there are many, 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 many different ways that this can be done. So if you watch my tutorials and say, well, that's not how you do it, that's wrong. Well, as long as it gets the job done and you're happy with the final product, then you did it right. That's all. That's that's how I look at it. So anyways, enough about my spiels. Let's get going. So you're going to go down here um, to the layer palette and make a new layer. The way I remember the shortcut for make a new layer is think of jumping the layer. So it would be Command J on the Mac or control J on the PC. Once you have that new layer, you actually go back to the background layer. You're going to go up to filter, blur, and I'm going to do radial blur and you'll you won't be able to see the effect yet because I have the um, other layer on top, but um, basically you can pick it to kind of have the spinny effect or you can do zoom and I'm going to select zoom and probably around here. The only thing is with this, you can't preview it before you do it, so you kind of have to guesstimate on how uh, how much you want to do. So I'm going to click OK. And like I said, you're not going to be able to see it, um, but I'll click this off so you can see. So it's really blurred like that. So what that means is I can go up to the first layer on top, make a new layer mask which you can click down at the bottom right here that adds the other one and I'm sure you guys know this by now by watching my videos how it works um, anything that I paint with black in this case because the layer mask is white will show what's underneath which this being what's underneath is the background layer so you just go in and you're gonna go around now you can do this with the brush just like I'm doing of course I'm doing it quite quickly um, but if there's some things that you need more uh, closer close you need to be more close to or anything like that you um, you can easily just take depending on what Photoshop version you have I have CS3 which means that I can take the quick selection tool and sometimes it works. She's wearing a blue shirt so it might not work. And you go through and see how easy that is. It selects pretty much exactly what I want. And you have to fill it. Do not press delete. You have to fill it with black. So in this case I'm going to do option and delete which fills it with black. Or you can go up to, I don't even know where it is because I never use it. Um, fill, here we go, edit fill, and then you would just do it, and it fills it with the top color. If you don't have CS3, you can always use the magic wand tool. The only thing with that is sometimes it, you know, leaves open things like that. But anyways, I will use my brush to finish it off because I just love painting it. Now, you'll notice, you're going to say, Stephanie, what are you doing? You made her hand all blurry. And it shouldn't be like that, silly girl. I'm sure you said it just like that, too. Um, <laughs> but, um, but because we did the layer mask, as you can see, we can go back. So all we got to do is, can you guess? Can you guess? That's right. Click X to switch the color or go over to this arrow where the colors are and click the arrow switchy, majiggy thingy. So we're going to switch it to white and then color back on where her hand is so then that brings that back and then we just go in and there you have it now um, as if you might have seen the tutorial I did last time the lighting effect I think this would maybe a good time to use it as well so let's go up and do it you go to layer new adjustment layer curves 
click OK. Scroll down to the preferred blackness or darkness that you'd like. And then we are going to, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool. And we're just going to make a rough guesstimate as to where she is. Ooh, not bad. Look at that. All right, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to bring it all the way up, and we'll see what that does. No, that's not bad, actually. Now, it is a really drastic effect, but what we're going to do is we are going to lighten it up just a little bit um, in her face. I don't mind the... Uh, the darkness around here that's fine what I'm gonna do is lighten her face so to do that take the brush I'm gonna make it as big as her head and I'm going to use the black brush in this case and just go and where I want it to be filled in a little bit or sorry lighter I should say is where I'm gonna do it so that my friends is how you do a very cool background effect and use lighting effects on your photos. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial that I will do. If you guys have any questions or requests that you'd like me to do, please send me a message on YouTube or leave me a comment on one of the videos. Anything you'd like and even better, you guys can make me video responses. The minute I get video responses, I'll watch them and I'll do your own special tutorial for you, just for you, because if you take the time to make me a video, I'm going to take the time to make you a video. So, like I said, stay tuned for next tutorial. Please subscribe, rate my videos, questions and comments, go ahead and leave them, and I will see you when I see you.